All right, this is day 22. I'm seeing just how close this camera is to my paper. Day 22, so I'm gonna draw another one of my characters from Trials of the Samurai Clowns. My flagship comic book, which I need to finish. Looks like I need to finish the other two or three that I'm working on by myself, if I might add. So I'm gonna try this position. This is the strong man. This is the big guy, the strong man of the circus. So I'm going to try this position. You know, I was just rough sketching it and it came out halfway. So I'm going to try it. And that's because I don't care. When you draw something that you really don't care about, it comes out good. But it's just when you tense up and you tighten and you try to draw this thing the best you can, that's when you start having troubles. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light behind me so I can get a little more light. I'm trying something before I spend money on a studio light. All right, let's see if that works. You know, and that's fine because you're investing money in yourself. All right, so let's try this strong man guy drawing. <sighs> See the image in your head as best you can. And if you can do reference, then do reference. It's a, it's a good thing to have reference. And what is with you in camera? What's up with you? So torso, I'm gonna try to get the whole body on here. And I might not because I wanna get some um, foreshortening going. So we got my got my torso, and he's going to be leaning down. He's going to be leaning down. This is going to be his shoulder. This is going to be the other delt. Shoulder's going to be like right here. And as I say, it was it was working when I was roughing it. So I'm just going to to try this, see what happens. Might work, might not. That hand, and that's going to be a tri triangle like that because it's going to be holding on to something. I just want to make sure that something is not taking his um, away, taking his away, taking his appearance away. It's going to be the head right there, and have the shoulder. The other one is going to be here. Neck, I don't know. This is going to be coming down, kind of leaning at you. This other arm is going to be back and it's going to go smaller. But he's not a small arm and he's got something, he's holding something else, and I might have to turn that arm. So they can fit on the page, which I didn't want. We'll see, we'll see. And I right off the bat, I, I just lost his feet. And because it's been in foreshortening, it's probably gonna have to be that foreshortened. It's probably gonna have to be that way. Maybe I'm staring at him. I'm two seconds from trying again just to see what would happen. The house, turn the house, turn it a little bit. So this is the center of the roof. I mean, you know, usually when drawings, feet don't really matter unless you just, um, doing a what do you call that when you're first introducing the character and you want everybody to see you know exactly what that character looks like an introduction type of shot that's got to be small this is that neck is troubling me so i don't have to figure out Something with that neck, not the neck, the head. This will make that hand even bigger. So it's going to be holding this pole, which is his main weapon. 
and weights. See, I don't want to take away from his face. Which will be taken away from a lot of the arm, which is fine because it's it's like it's like that's a get over because now I don't have to worry so much about a lot of the parts that I don't want to say frustrate me or I'm not sure about. I mean, it's a get over and you should not get over, try to get over because you're going to need to be able to draw, period. So this chest is going to come down and under the arm. This one's going to come out and around. Because he's a big guy. This is going to be the collarbone, collarbone, collarbone. Here, leaving room for that tuna can. Got to have that space. And, and I'm guilty of that a lot of times. Is when I was used to draw, I never would leave this room here, this little room for the little tuna can. Never. And a lot of times my characters would come out short. They would, the drawing was good, but they were short, and I couldn't figure out why. And it's because I never left room. And then once I realized that, I started giving too much room, and they would be a little too tall. And I would always say, well, you know, they're superheroes, so they're supposed to be tall, but that was like a cop out for me. I'm um, saying, or for me not, you know, having it the way it's supposed to be. So this is here, this is here, this is, where's the other one? Right here. And this goes down, which I'm gonna need that room again. And that's kind of the hard part is when you take your drawing from front and you try to tip it, tilt it to the side and bring it up. It's, it's difficult if you don't do it a lot, especially in this part, especially when you twist it. So we have this, this is going to be like that. Same thing here. This is going to be this V is going to come around because your shoulder. So that the neck, the shoulder blade is going to come like shoulder blade. That's sh yeah, that shoulder, but not shoulder blade is going to come this like this and go behind that neck and we have that this is going to be more like this and then you have the V that goes around there part of the back Part of the delt, and when I get too many lines, that's when I switch colors. Like I'll use a pencil that will blind me instantly. So here's my chest. Here's my delt. Which this is going to come. What's going to come? The delt is going to cover that because the delt is on top. And this is going to go way back here. So the delt is going to be more rounded, I believe. Come here. This tricep is back here, which is going to be covered. And this is going to cover this because it's coming at you and you won't see any of the wrists. If I'm not mistaken, because this fist is going to take the place of that. So we have this one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three. And, and there's a, there is a trick to doing hands. And as soon as I can explain it, I will show you, make it a lot easier. It's just by like which what goes what way and the other goes the other way. And a lot of times I have to like even do my own hand to make sure I'm right. And uh, I talked about it in one of the other videos about somebody asked me, 
somebody, uh, I want to say an art student asked me, is it okay to use reference? And yes, it is. It, you got to use reference. You know, if you want it to look good, you got to use reference. You know, I can draw, you know, a hand from, you know, memory and try to get it right. But why would I do that when I could just use my hand to do whatever position, you know, that I need? So yeah, you just, if you, if you can't find like a photo of it, then use yourself, use yourself. Like if you're trying to draw a zebra or something, yeah, you might need a, you know, photo reference, but stuff like this. Yeah, hand, anatomy, use yourself. I mean, you might not be built like a superhero, but you would know if you tilt your shoulders up from this angle that you're going to see some of this and see some of that, and you're not going to see some of this. So it makes it a little better. So we have this. Since I have this neck here, the head could probably go. Here somewhere. This neck is going to go here, so that's going to go there. <sighs> you won't see that lack because he's I like this. The guy's really big. He's big. And what I can do is shrink that head down a little bit to make him look even bigger. So this arm is going to cut it. I have this arm. I have it down. I wanted it up. But he's going to be holding something else, and that's going to chop that part off. I can do it. I didn't really want to do it. If I made it smaller, it would have worked out. But I can always just do like. The forearm. And then the hand. And then I can put the object in his hand, which could work. I'll, 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 I'll keep that, that pin on that one for now. So I'm gonna do the legs. crazy big but that's okay because it is a foreshortening um, thing shot I really want to make this waist a little smaller so this there that hip find a good eraser now comes the light because of this pencil
All right, so I see this. I started erasing this. I took some time. I had dinner, and it's a little bit late. But I see this because this line, I had this line here, the center line, but I had the chest line over here. So it has to come directly under this because this doesn't move. This part, your ribs right here, is not, um, not going to move. So the center line is going to be here and then twist over if I'm doing that, a, that little S kind of thing. So that's what was getting me. I knew something here was not right and I actually had to walk away, which I did, and had something to eat. And then I came back. So to have that line like this is what I need to do. Somehow I got away from that center line. No matter how it twists, it's still going to be that center line. So yeah. Now we can do this because this is the ribs. This and this, like the rib cage here. You have the the um, oblique coming here. Remember, you have your rib cage here. There's the C, and at the bottom of the rib cage comes your oblique like this. So you have to have to do that, and that basically your obliques would be your tuna can, and underneath of that, you have to have your upside down house. So if you twist that much, then you go from there because this has to twist and follow, and this has to twist and follow too, leaving, I believe, a little more room down here and less room up here. So this is going to be skin here, but. If you're if you're puffing your chest out, these two are going to be more pronounced right here, right here. Going to be pronounced, and this part is going to be sucked in. So let's see if I can draw what I'm explaining to you guys. This is the rib cage. You got the skin that's going to come down. So you're going to probably have this one ab right here, right against this edge, coming here. So you're going to have this other ab, which is going to come. And they're going to stay on that line, so you can probably see a little bit of this. So if I did like this, you'll see a little bit of this side piece. So we have this other ab that's going to come out here. And these, since it's kind of leaning, this is going to be stacked, a little stack on top of the other one. So this one's going to come here. So I'm going to bring this out more and bring that... Um, love handle a lot more so we have this this here and it's going to go down to the, probably the third one right here so and this light out of my face pulling it over and these dirty glasses here here and probably this one we're going to bring it out more and probably see less of the love handle so it's be, and remember the hole he's leaning down so this is going to be leaning this is going to be leaning and this might start come up, coming up. So, come up because this hip is almost uh, level. So you're going to have a hard lean here, not as hard, and then it's coming up. And then it's going to come down into that last set of um, abs, which is down here into the pants. So you have this. I'm going to have this oblique here. And I'm going to finish this. As I say, it is late and I do have to work tomorrow. Yes, I do have a full time job. So I'm going to sleep on this one and then look at it tomorrow to see if it does look okay. It looks better than it did the first time. Now, if he was wearing clothes or shirt, then I would have wasted hours doing this because all I would have needed was the outline. So that's something that I say to people. If, if your character is wearing clothes, you're just wasting your time. So this, and then it's going to be probably coming down about right here, I guess. So this is going to be shadow. We'll see. We'll see. I love it is really late and my light is not really good so I'm gonna, I'm gonna puff this um, oblique out right here which is gonna push this, the abs probably push them over more because you're looking from this side and there's a lot of factors that I, my brain has to take take on when I'm drawing that I kind of forget 
if you see something, and I'm getting back to the art, so if you, if you have this shape, and you have these four squares here, looking straight at it, you, you see that. Now if I turn it over to the side, like, like that, so you see that's more, you see more of this side, and I have these four squares here. Turning it to the side would mean this side is gonna come off of that line like that. So you're gonna see more of this and then this is gonna tuck behind it. If I had a thing that I can show you. I don't know if I could this this is this is black. I can't even see it in the monitor. I'll just use these two things right here. Maybe cut the light out so you can see better. You have this, let's use this because this the stripes on here, stripes on here. So this is straightforward coming at you, but if I turn it to the side, you see how these will come over more and cover up that. So if I took this here, and I never really peeled all the paper off of this one. I took this here and I put that there, a line. And I took these here, let's say right here. And then I twisted these over to the side. Eventually, that line is going to go back. Maybe I put that line a little further over, closer over. So when you turn it to the side, you see it's going to cover up that line. So if that line was actually the other half of the abs. And let's do this. Your center line of your abs, when you turn it, it's going to cover those up. So this is going to go like in front of it, and then it's going to come out from behind it. So where's my drawing? This is what's happening with these abs. My light back, my chair is dropping down. So you're going to see these abs are going to cover the part of this other side. So it's going to come from behind like that. And you're gonna have these. So yeah. No, I know he's gonna have. He's got a belt and he's got this little warrior kind of dress thing on. So I don't have to worry too much about that. But I need to get it right in my head. Oh, I'm not gonna be happy. All right, I am back at it after a few days off from dealing with the storm and other problems. I'm back at it. So let's see if we can finish this guy up today. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to finish him up today, but I'm going to try. No promise. So let's dress him. Everything else is ready. Let's dress him. And his ability is he can raise his adrenaline up to give him like superhuman um, strength. No, no Superman type crap, but just like, you know, picking up like two and three elephants type. But he can only do it for so long. It's, it's nothing that that he keeps. It just, you know, raise your adrenaline up and it just makes him really weak afterwards. But he goes kind of like he has to kind of almost get into like this angry berserk mode to kind of use it. He's, they call him a gentle giant. But he's the enforcer. He's kind of like crazy loyal to the uh, ringmaster. So, yeah, he's kind of like his enforcer. He's usually one of the ones that go around whenever the ringmaster goes out. He's there with him. Just to give... 
support. A little support, you were going to say? I wasn't going to say that. Support the ringmaster. Like I said, he's just, he's crazy loyal. And I shouldn't be freehanding this circle, but since this is just a, this is just a drawing, it's a drawing. And I am behind, so if, if I should miss a day or two, if you're hearing my voice, and after this, I miss a day or two, that's because I am behind, because life will grab you and hold you down, pin you against that wall and won't let you go. But that's all right. You just keep on moving. Keep moving, you'll get there eventually. The old boss once told me, he said, if you, can, if you hit a tree in the same spot long enough, it'll eventually fall. So yeah, don't get upset that you don't get somewhere tonight or tomorrow. Just keep moving, you'll get there eventually. But if you give up and go back home, that just makes it even harder to do it again. Or well, it takes longer for you to get there. Okay, so these are plates. These are weight plates. These are 100 pound weight plates. And he has five on them. This is his weapon. So it's like 500 pounds each that he wields like hammers. And this is going to be kind of hard to, to um, all right, like, do your thing. It's going to be hard to keep it balanced. But I'm going to give it a shot. Keep it balanced as in making it round and then having five of them freehand. Because each plate is not kind of, you know, welded together. So you have to have that space in between. and you have to get bigger as they go closer so that might help me out a little bit So we got that. I'm going to put his leopard print in there, which is going to take all of that muscle away. I wish I had thought about that before. And he's got the kind of strappy boots, strappy sandal kind of boots. That one, that one, and then this one. And down the front, he has like the leather. That's his knee. So the front is going to be like this leather and then it like um i don't know what you call it hinged to the to the leather to each other kind of give them that old school hercules kind of look to it so yeah i don't i don't really think there's much else i can do until i start inking it to get some of these lines to show or to disappear. It's, it's gonna be a lot of erasing. So let's get with some light. Let's pull it down so you can see and start some speed inking. Here we go.
All right, I'm just going to call it quits right here because I can keep adding and keep adding and keep adding. And a lot of things are really messing up to me. You might not see them, but I can see them. So it's just getting frustrating. And this took me like about a week to do. And uh, it should only took me a day, but it just, yeah, it's one of those things. It's, it's very hard to kick out a drawing every day, finish it, uh, download it, edit it, upload it whatever so yeah so i'm gonna just leave this guy like this i am going to probably color him later um once i get used to my pens again i haven't really been doing any coloring so yeah that's gonna be it for this day and this is day something 22 i think it is 22 so yeah as i say i'm behind so i'm not gonna ramble i'm gonna end it and i will see you guys tomorrow